After weeks of uncertainty, fans were focused on Atlanta this week, and we finally have our answers. Glenn's still alive. Ring the bell. Welcome to the show, guys. I'm J.R. Perez. Let's talk about Survivor Series. Now, the biggest news to come out of Survivor Series is the internet group Anonymous discovered an ISIS plot to attack the event. In response, the WWE had Lillian Garcia sing the national anthem at the beginning of the event. Afterwards, ISIS was quoted as saying, Oh my God, I think they've been through enough. Other huge news, Roman Reigns became the 46th WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Right afterwards, however, he was defeated by Sheamus cashing in his Money in the Bank contract, causing the audience to go from boo to eh. Now, the 2015 Survivor Series did mark the 25th anniversary of The Undertaker. It was a big deal. Him and his brother Kane, the brother's destruction, easily defeated the Wyatt family. The Wyatt family's lost so much this year, they might as well repackage them as the Husky Harris family. Now, people are big on The Undertaker because over 25 years, he's really changed his character. But people are forgetting Kane's been there for almost 20 years and has done the same thing. I mean, he was Kane, Corporate Kane, Other Mass Kane, Concessions Kane, Candy Kane, Welder Kane, Libertarian Kane, Malibu Kane, and of course, Michael Kane. Speaking of dead people, Paige recently caused some controversy bringing up the name of Ric Flair's dead son, Reed Flair, in a promo on Monday Night Raw. Thankfully, Ric Flair's other son, Charlotte, was there to set her straight. We'll be right back. Ring the Bell is sponsored by Mr. Thorough Goods Cheesecakes. They're not good, they're thorough good. Welcome back. Lucha Underground's Johnny Mundo, AKA John Morrison, is known as a huge parkour enthusiast. He has no problem getting up on a huge building, but he does have a problem getting up. Recently, his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Melina, posted a picture on Twitter of his Cialis prescription. You know who doesn't have that problem? Batista. Speaking of cock blocks, Kevin Owens recently blocked Melissa Joan Hart on Twitter after she called him a lazy wrestler. After the confrontation, Kevin Owens finished his Cheetos and took a nap. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, though, did not post those comments. It was later confirmed they were done by her annoying little brother, Ferguson. We'll be back. We're honored to film here at the New York Comedy Club. If you want to see a show at a discounted rate, go to their website, newyorkcomedyclub.com, and use the promotion code Ring the Bell. And lastly, TNA has announced that their show, Impact, will be moving to the Pop Television Network. This is the only time TNA and the word pop will be used in the same sentence. Add us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, add our brand new Facebook page, and don't forget to subscribe to Geek Aid's YouTube channel for us and lots more on the channel. Support independent local wrestling, guys. We'll see you next time.